How do you install a pool liner with no wrinkles? Well, let's start with an, ab an above ground pool that's a little bit more straightforward. It's um, basically the process is is you prep the, f the, the floor of the pool, usually in an above ground pool that might be a sand bottom. So you would trowel the bottom exactly how you want it and trowel backwards, do the whole thing kind of like when you're painting, you, you don't paint yourself into a corner. You wanna be able to jump out such that the whole floor is troweled. And when you put the liner in an above ground pool, if you could get a couple of people to give you a hand, it's it's optimal because what you want to do is you want to be able to have at least four people such that you could stretch the liner out over the pool without dragging it along the floor. If you drag it along the floor, then it's going to mess up all the nice uh, troweling work that you did on the sand. So you want to carry the liner carefully, lift it over the pool, and very carefully put it into the track all the way around. Now the idea here is the liner is really kind of hanging off the bottom at this point it's not even sitting on the bottom and as the sun gets on it and it warms up and you kind of go around and maybe with like the head of a, a broom a broom that doesn't have any screws or sharp protruding objects coming from the end of it you would hang that over the edge of the above ground pool and you kind of just like manually tap the liner here and there and that gets the liner to kind of gently rest back where you want it to sit and if there's a wrinkle in the floor then you would kind of go over to that area Area and hit against the wall and try to move that wrinkle from the floor over to the area where there's a cove where the floor and the wall meet and that's the goal once you have all of the wrinkles out then you can go ahead and start the vacuum if you're using a vacuum type installation for your above ground liner or you can just start running the water which is another option for how you can install an above ground liner without wrinkles so long as there's no wrinkles once the water goes over that part of the liner, then there won't, there won't be any wrinkles in that area. Now moving on to an in-ground liner, it's more or less the exact same process, except most of the time it's not a sand bottom. You do see it sometimes, but most of the time it's some sort of grout bottom or two-stage vermiculite concrete bottom, such that you can get in and walk around and it's not really a problem. It doesn't, it's not a, it doesn't detract from the floor, it doesn't leave footprints in the floor like it would on a sand bottom pool. So it's a little bit easier at that part of the installation. So you walk around, you install the liner as need be in the shallow end, and then from the deck all the way around the deep end you hang the liner. Once the liner is in the pool and before the vacuum gets turned on you kind of manually just walk around kicking gently kicking the liner into into position where you want it to be then you turn the vacuum on. As the air is with or sucked out from behind the liner the liner will start to stick to the walls and the floor and it's the job of the installation technician to walk around at that stage and kick the liner gently into place where you want it. So if there's a wrinkle in the floor, again, I'll go to that area and I will kick where the cove of the liner meets the floor of the floor meets the wall and I will, I will try to manually manipulate that that wrinkle in the liner over to the cove area. If you manage to do that and get rid of all the wrinkles before you start the water, then the wrinkles won't develop suddenly unless the vacuums are turned off before the water level reaches the safe level, which is considered to be about six inches of water covering the floor of the shallow end. That's the safe point at which you can turn off the vacuums during a vinyl liner installation and wrinkles won't suddenly just reappear on you. So in terms of how to install a vinyl liner in an in-ground pool without wrinkles, the trick is simply to take your time manipulating the liner into place while it's under vacuum. Sometimes it happens where you, you just can't get it all right and you have to turn the vacuum off, give it a couple of minutes for the liner to now just kind of relax again, and then turn on the vacuum and try again. And that's not uncommon to have to do that when installing a vinyl liner. So don't think, well, you didn't get it, but it's mostly good, you just can't get this one part no matter what you do. It's okay to take a step back, turn the vacuum off for a minute, reposition the liner. That's not uncommon to have to maybe shift the liner six inches this way or that way in the coping track from where you initially lined it up. Maybe you were off by just a little bit. And that's that could potentially result in wrinkles somewhere in the liner. And if that's what's happening to you, you have wrinkles and you just can't seem to get rid of them, you probably just need to orient that liner one way or the, or the next, maybe six inches, and that's gonna make the difference and you're gonna be able to lose that wrinkle. So long as you don't run water when there's wrinkles. If there's a wrinkle and you're thinking, well, I'll just fill the pool up and then we'll see if we can't get rid of that wrinkle. That is the wrong way to go about doing this because once the weight of the water is on top of that wrinkle, 
you are not going to get rid of that wrinkle. Even the most skilled technician is going to struggle to remove wrinkles once the weight of the water is on it. It's like there's a truck parked directly on top of the wrinkle and you can't move it no matter what you do. And even if you do use a plunger, which is an industry technique to be able to grab the liner and try to manipulate the wrinkle one way or the other, what you'll find is that more times than not, even if you manage to move it, as soon as you let go with the plunger, the wrinkle just reappears in the original location. It's kind of got a memory like that. Once it's cold and the cold water is now covering it and it has the weight of that cold water on it, it's very hard to get rid of wrinkles. So the trick to installing a liner with no wrinkles is to get rid of every last one of them before you cover it with water. If you found this information helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.